Hi, I'm Jay James Stone and happy Valentine's Day. Now in today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious and easy chocolate fondue. The thing that's great about this recipe is you probably have a lot of these ingredients at home already, especially if you make chocolate chip cookies all the time. So it's not a lot of weird stuff, it's super easy to make and it's tasty. Let me show you how. We're gonna start off with a little bit of butter, about a tablespoon of butter. Just add that to a small pot and melt it over a medium heat. Okay, so the butter is starting to melt. As soon as that melts, we're gonna add in some milk. Now, the reason I'm using the butter and the milk is to sort of mimic heavy cream, like in case you don't have heavy cream on you at home. So it's just really easy to do. If you do have heavy cream, then you can actually omit the butter from this recipe. It's almost melted. Now we're gonna add in our milk. Mix that all together. And what you wanna do is once the butter is fully melted and you've added the milk, bring the milk up to just a really, really low simmer. As soon as you start to see like, you know, the steam coming off, you know you're pretty much good because we're gonna use that heat to melt the chocolate. But we're not using a double boiler, so you don't wanna do it on the stove. We're actually gonna just do it with the hot milk. And I'm gonna turn up the heat and probably regret it. So while we wait for the milk to heat up, I have a question for you guys. I'd like to know, what are some of your favorite recipes that you've had for Valentine's Day? Fondue is a great one because you kind of can share out of the same pot. Um, obviously, there's other things that are sort of romantical. Tell me what yours is down below. I wanna know, drop a comment. Okay, so it's starting to steam. So I'm actually gonna remove it from the burner because like I said, we're not using a double burner and chocolate is very, very, very sensitive. And so we wanna melt the chocolate, but not burn it. Because if you burn it, it's gonna get ruined. So I'm gonna just take it off of the heat and put it on a little silicon pad here and start working the chocolate into it. So now we're gonna to start to add in our chocolate chips and just stir it while you do it. So that way you don't burn the chocolate and just help it along as it starts to melt. And it starts to smell so good. The key here is to kind of do it slowly so you don't overwhelm the hot milk because you wanna use that to melt the chocolate. So let the chocolate fully melt before you add in more. If you need to, if for some reason the milk starts to cool a little bit faster, just put it back on the burner without any heat. Like don't turn the heat on, that's still gonna be hot from when you heated up the milk. So you can do that to easily help it along if it starts to seize up a little bit. And add in our remaining chocolate chips. Now to add in the last ingredient, vanilla extract. There we go, we have our easy to make chocolate fondue. Not bad, right? Just a few ingredients and you and your boo can have a little dessert, a little snoo snoo, whatever you wanna do. Let me just give it a try here. I'm gonna use a strawberry. Now the one thing that's nice about this is after you make it, you do want to let it cool just for a few minutes because it'll thicken up. It's gonna be really runny when it's super hot. There you go. All right, perfect. Hey, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. And if there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. Have a happy Valentine's Day.